Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley. Today we're doing the version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the GMTK Game Jam. This is the Game Maker Toolkits Game Jam. It's got a lot of games. It's got nearly 3,000. Um, the theme is only one. I'm going to try to play some of these games. I don't know if I'm going to play all of them, but I'm going to try. Um, <laughs> there's so many games. Uh, there will be about 10 per video uh, for a minute each. Links to the individual games in the description and all my info also in the description. So if you like this sort of content, feel free to support me on Patreon or follow me on Twitter. Links in the description. Yeah, thank you very much for liking and watching and subscribing and commenting. Next. We're playing the prosthetic pirate. Oh, okay, so we can hold it. Let's pick up you first. Oh, I have to hit W. One sec. Cool. Drop that there. Right down here. It's magnets things to us. So we're kind of learning what each item does. But we can only hold one item at a time. Oh wow. Don't need that anymore. Just get rid of you. Nope. Oh. Nope. Got stuff locked in the wall. Will this fix it? Nope. Broke the game. Well, it's a very interesting concept. That's a shame that I put everything in the wall. I like the different objects as well. Next. We're playing one way. Oh. We can't go down there. Uh, okay. So you've got to kind of figure out which way is the right way. Which is going to be probably a bit of trial and error. I've got a ball that follows us. Yeah, it's death. And I have to move a space. Right, let's restart. Stuck me go up there. All right, now we're in front. Okay. Nah, there's lasers. Okay. All right, this is pretty neat. I like the little sound effects. Next. We're playing Starfield. This is great. Finally captaining a ship. It feels nice. Alright, so I have to continue text. So this is made in a little under 12 hours. Um, or a little over 12 hours, which is not any time at all. I think we just have like, um, oh, there's a dress, dress single in this area, but I don't see anybody. Weird. We seem to have like a limited amount of energy and stuff. Hmm. Can we go deeper, like around here? I don't think that we can. We're mostly just a ship traveling around space, which is a very good start, especially for the amount of time. I'm running out of fuel, about 70 cycles, but that's being optimistic. Where am I? That's a very good start for the amount of time that was there. I like how we're being f like slowly fed this story based on when we run out of fuel, I'm guessing. I didn't know this is what it was like out there. You can make it if you try hard enough, is what they told me. I wanted to believe them so badly. I'm not so positive about being captain anymore. Also moving quite a bit slower. Next. We're playing Dissolving Gallery. This looks... Ooh, interesting. W. Okay. E. Huh. Every day is a new day. Every day. It's like a whole poem back here. The search brought me here, the finest piece of art. I found the portrait, but many of its pieces are missing. 
Perhaps the missing pieces are around here somewhere. Now oh, red. This is really lovely. Just in like concept where we change colors, where we go and stuff. That looks like a picture. Or a picture, a piece. You found the eye. Okay. I like that it took us back to the painting that we're creating. Ooh. That's why it takes us back, because sometimes it's impossible to go back as structures have broken. You found the gown. Hmm. This is super interesting. I really like this. Next. We're playing the resting place. On the square. I'm glad you made it. Uh, who are you? I'm Mark Brown. <laughs> and this is Game Maker's Toolkit, a series on video ga- uh, Sorry, old habit. I'm a friend. Uh, okay, Mark Brown, and where am I exactly? This is the resting place. All souls come here to leave their mark and pass on. Your time has come. Are you telling me that I'm dead? Well, yes. And no. Not exactly dead. Your old body and the one you moved about pr the one you moved about previously no longer exists. Well, the body still exists somewhere, but it's dead. And you're no longer a part of it. You see, there are many bodies, but there is only one you, and that you never dies. This place is where you come to transition from one body to the next. Uh, I know it's a lot to take in. It's best not to dwell too much on the philosophical implications of what you're experiencing. You only have one thing that needs to be done. Uh, no worries. It's rather simple. You just have to choose where you want to leave your mark. Oh, and if it, you're so inclined, you can choose the color of the mark you left behind. The other rule is that you cannot leave a mark where another mark has already been left behind. Okay. So let's get started, shall we? You already know how to move. This is a temporary body of yours. Great work. Did you notice that you can press Q and E to zoom in and out? You can try that shortly. If not, the event, in the event of dark, pop, uh, dark atmosphere, improv, jazzish music isn't your thing, you can mute it by pressing M. The next important thing you need to know is that you can change your color by pressing spacebar and then move into the color you want. Press spacebar again. Space to change my color. Exactly. Finally, this may be more difficult. You have to choose where it is that you want to leave your mark. So you can see there are plenty of space and there are many marks already left behind. It's time for you to leave yours. Why exactly? Great question. <laughs> You see God, the divine creator, the developer, whatever you want to call them. They are playful and curious being and wanted to try an experiment. An experiment? Exactly. I believe it has something to do with some seeing if order can come from unprompted potential or something like that. Now, this is one-sided dialogue. It's rather long, so I believe it's time for us to take care of business. Remember, you can only leave one mark. Only one. Write only one. Make it count. Oh, I almost forgot. We're satisfied. You can And you're ready to move on. You can press enter. Okay, space, change my color, add to leave my mark. Great, I think you got it. Now go leave your mark. Farewell, my friends. See you again when your next body perishes. Um, oh no. I don't want to do the dialogue again. I was just trying to move around. I've clicked through the dialogue again. I want this color green. Yeah, oh wait, I want this color green. And I want to put it here. I think it's hoping that we'll make a picture, but we're not going to. People are too, like, not... What is it called? Like, cohesive enough? <laughs> right, left your mark. You finished. You can explore and see others left their mark. So, you, right now, can go play this and leave your mark, and it can be a whole picture of everyone's color. That's a clever idea. Next. We're playing cannon head. Shoot the mouse, shoot the left click. You only have one bullet. Make sure to kill every enemy. Uh, but you and the innocents. Good luck. Nope. I wish we could recall it. Because it's very intense and it's definitely gonna hit that other guy. Ah. Just, just stop. Just stop. Oh, it hit me. I like this music. Oh, we passed a singular level. Yeah, don't don't touch me. Ah, yay! I like this music a lot, actually. Nope. 
Oh, I hadn't missed that one. Alright, next. I'm playing one monster RPG running out of slime. So the idea is we are level 99. <laughs> Enemy. And there was only one monster left, and it isn't nearly enough XP to get him to level 100. I wonder if I can feed it before taking its life. Alright, so basically, we need to make this a higher level. So I guess we do that by, like, putting it near this stuff. It's getting quite big. Let's feed it a dog. I like the graphics in this, it's very nice. Oh, we didn't feed it a dog. Come on, slime. It's changed. Come on through. I'm gonna push these people. Here. Let's fight it now. Can we fight you? Are you big enough? Cause we don't want it too... Oh, we still hit it. One kill. We didn't want it to be too big, you know? But I don't think that helped. <laughs> As after successfully slaying the last monster on this planet, I am now officially level 100. I will now proceed to quit my life as a hero and chase my true dreams of becoming a bank salesman. Oh, that was wonderful. I'm glad we made it. Next. We're playing You Are The Only One. Alright. <laughs> yeah, let's energize. We are the button. Or battery. Unsure. That thing seems to actually shoot us. Alright. It's perfect. Did great. I think we're pretty good at this. Right here. Screen moved, which is really scary. Okay, so we I think we overshot. Nope. We needed one more jump. This one's tough. It's mainly tough because the screen seems to move. Um, and I mean it moves like when we get on the platform we walk forward. But maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just my perception. Uh, I don't know if I can pass this. Graphics and sound seem really good. Oh no, this is like... Ah, uh, even more. <laughs> Next. We're playing drill bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna start. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can't! I was like, we have to drill all of these pieces, but no, we don't. Yeah, we need to move a bit faster. Okay. Oh, it's different this time. This is challenging. This is really challenging. Nope. I quite like the graphics. The developer did say they didn't have much time uh, for balancing. Which is fine. Nope. It's definitely an interesting idea. It's the middle thing. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I hit two walls, so my shield didn't last very long. Nope. <laughs> this is such a clever idea. It just does need some balancing. The graphics are quite nice, and so is the sound. Next. We're playing Punch Self. I'm gonna play against AI. I'll play against AI. I'm red. Oh, the monster fights as well. Alright, I understand. We need to, di we need to guard more. Let's guard. Let's fight. Come back. 
Yeah, really not doing well. Blue wins. Yep. Let's restart. Alright, we can control when biting happens. Block? Yeah. Okay. Bite. There we go. I like bite because it stuns the other one. Yeah. I like being bitten though. Get a couple of hits in. Bite him. Bite him. Ah. We're pretty, we're pretty even. Me and this AI are pretty evenly matched, it seems. Ah, this is an intense game. Ah. Next. <laughs> 